this is a hotel radio motel hotel that I picked up at the ham swap meet I think it was ten dollars and uh, it's not something I really want or need but I thought it would make a very interesting video not something you see very often it's a very very basic institutional metal box type thing and I've already opened it and un unfortunately the coin changer is missing you know originally this was like a vending machine you would have put a quarter or whatever in here and the radio would have turned on for 30 minutes or whatever the prescribed time I I sure wish that was in here because I would really like to see um, the mechanical coin changer anyway it's just your basic all-american five Columbia I don't know if that means it's CBS it's actually built remarkably well look at how that side will interlock with that and then it has the interlocking groove all the way around to help try and prevent you from prying it open of course the coin changer would have been here because it's a metal box it uh, does not have the standard coil antenna so it has an external antenna wire here it's just your typical all-american five good chance it just works I found this at an estate sale and um, when I say all American five it means it has five tubes one two three four five and it was a circuit that RCA pretty much came up with however they whatever they did they stole it or whatever and licensed it out to anybody who wanted to manufacture it and I want to show you how standardized it is so in the back of this book there are schematics portable super heterodyne receiver portable three-way super heterodyne receiver mm, that's I guess different power sources AC operated super heterodyne receiver a little bit higher power it's got a push-pull output a uh, six volt that uses a power transformer AC DC super heterodyne receiver automobile receiver super regenerative receiver shortwave receiver regenerative shortwave receiver on and on so these this has all of the RCA I guess license designs anyway this right here now it's not that one it's not that one it's this one right here ACDC super heterodyne receiver so this right here is going to be that now they changed this a little bit as time went on they 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 got rid of these trimmer capacitors and replaced them with those mica ones at the bottom of the cans that are going bad silver mica disease they got rid of this right here and they came up with a little couplet assembly where all of this is integrated into one little thing that looks like a big disc capacitor but this circuit this schematic right here is this radio there might be a few little tweaks but pretty much this is that that's how standardized these things were okay so here we go we're just gonna do a, a cold uh, reform here of whatever capacitors might be left uh, I always like to look at the back when I turn something like this on in case there's a flash or smoke that's you know that's the reward so here we go power time
of dollars into a campaign to persuade San Francisco voters to reject a ban on selling flavored tobacco products. The Reynolds has contributed nearly $12 million to the No on Prop E campaign, filling voters and radio airwaves and mailboxes with ads urging voters to reject a... I love my propylene glycol microprocessor controlled nicotine carcinogen delivery device. Well, it's promising, of course, it just has open capacitors in it. I'm going to say this is a volume limiter, so you don't disturb the, the people in the room next door. They probably set it on the loudest station and then turn this to limit it down to what they thought was a reasonable volume. The knobs are screwed on. I guess that's another institutional uh, improvement there to keep people from stealing the knobs, putting them on their own radio at home. All right, let's inspect. So, got to love that. Um, this is very interesting. Obviously, somebody changed the filter cap. And what do we got going on here? What do we have? So they they left the old one in. Red, blue. They have the negative of this capacitor connected to here, which comes over to the power switch. And the negative of the original capacitor was connected. Oh, I guess it's the same place. Okay, I see there's a jumper wire there. So is this the original? Let me let me look at this. It's too bad that thing is so roasted. Speaker looks to be in good shape. So is this capacitor bad then? This capacitor does not look that old. Sprague usually, I guess, I don't know. Anyway, um, no paper, paper caps is in the caps that we're used to seeing, the wax paper. So as you can see, this is a hot chassis set, of course, because that connected right to the chassis. But they have the chassis isolated on these. The, these were screwed in like that. So it's sitting up on these uh, standoffs. And the other chassis isolation is this wood. So basically what's keeping this metal can from being connected to one side of the line cord are these pieces of plywood, these plastic uh, standoffs, and these knobs. I wonder if that would uh, pass a modern safety compliance standard. This power cord is probably seen better days too. Use a tripod, use a tripod. Are you happy now? 
hate using a tripod. I like to show up close to what's going on, not just, ooh, watch my hands do things on the... 47 at 200, 47 at 200. Connect the two negatives together. See, I'm not even in frame. Let's try this again. 247 at 200, connect the negatives together. We'll connect the negatives, connect that to the, uh, connect that to the chassis. Connect one of the 47s to Something else loose here. Interesting, when I get on a really strong station, it just blanks, mutes. California, it's going to be Gavin Newsom. It's guaranteed. Agenda 21, take away your guns. That's that's it. It's, it's the way it's going to be. Get used to it. I'm sorry, Agenda 2030 now. So this is interesting how on a very strong signal it's blanking the station. It's the AVC is not working. I'm grounding the antenna. Let me see if I can. So there's the problem on a very strong station. It's blanking, it's overdriving. The AVC or AGC is not running the running the gain down on the tubes.
slogans like buy one, get one, two. Menthol cigarettes and vaping liquids with flavors like cotton candy, mango, and cool cucumber. San Franciscans vote side June 5th whether to uphold the law approved last year by the Board of Supervisors. Okay. Love my cool, cu cu cool cucumber cigarettes. Um, measuring on this side of the volume control here, and you see I got 27 volts, negative 27 volts. We are seeing traditional automotive suppliers shift to components that go into electric vehicles. Auto Trader Executive Analyst Michelle Krebs says that's just. So you can see on the center, I got zero at no volume, and then of course, as I turn the volume up towards that negative voltage. <laughs> Now, we have this capacitor right here that is supposed to isolate that DC off of there, that negative voltage. So let's see what we get over here through the capacitor. For electric. She says it'll be useful to watch what happens in China. So can you say can you say this capacitor is leaky? Like seriously leaky? Here he is. As a human right, Gavin Newsom took on the gun lobby and won. And Newsom didn't just talk about ending mass incarceration. He led the fight to decriminalize marijuana and begin ending the war on drugs that unfairly targets people of color. That's why Senator Kamala Harris and California leaders support Gavin Newsom for governor. Courage for a change. Yes, take away all the guns, decriminalize all the criminals, release all the criminals, and the people won't have any guns. It's a great, great system. Great system. And, and what's great is the people are going to just buy it right up and elect him. It'll be a landslide. In support of the Golden Knights as they face off against the Washington Capitals in the Stanley Cup Finals, the city has banned capital runners. So here's another leaky capacitor here. This is the grid coupling cap to the audio output tube and it's leaking. Uh, we have a 470 to ground there. And it's leaking three volts. Which is not much but it's enough to crook that tube and I measure this is the uh, cathode capacitor, cathode resistor here, and I only got seven volts there, so seven volts on the cathode with a positive three volt bias from a leaky grid coupling capacitor. I would say that output tube is toasted. Boy, this thing, these are not mica, these are paper right here. Right? These are Gavin Newsom caps. The other thing you hear that buzzing. Elsewhere, coming up in news at 1:30. That's not filter hum. That's because they remove the across the line capacitor here. At this location, you get that high high pitch buzzing without an across the line cap. If I put one in there, it would quiet right down. At least I think maybe this is it right here, and it's open. Okay, here we go. Across the line cap. Line comes in right here. You can see it going to right there. Into confidence. Compiled by industry experts, it describes and simplifies the process. Learn about the anatomy of a window and browse through style and performance options. Discover how the type of window you choose and the way it operates can complement the architecture of your home. Get all the details on how energy efficient options can help to lower your utility bills. Stop waiting and start enhancing your home. Download your window replacement guide at replacementmadeeasy.com. That's replacementmadeeasy.com. It's Denise Fondo. Cars and Toyota is your Memorial Day savings destination. Now during this big savings event, you can lease a new 2018 Toyota Camry SE for only $167 plus tax per month. Or you can shop over 10 acres of inventory, including over... So if you think the across-the-line cap is not important.
So if you think the across the line cap doesn't matter, that's what it's for. Let's have fun with resistor values. Red, green, orange, 25K, 25K, 25.13K, cathode bypass resistor, brown, gray, brown, 1.8 with 1.0, 180 ohms, 298, and the, the boy, that tube has got to be dead. The resistor's high, the bias is off, and the voltage is still low. Orange, white, yellow, 39, uh, 390K. 433k. Orange, black, green, so 3 megs. Yellow, violet, red, so 4.7k. 5.3k. Brown, gray, brown again, so this one measures 187. So as far as restoration or repair goes the biggest bang for your buck is going to be number one capacitors number two tubes in alignment and the very last is resistors this these things don't care if the resistors are 500 percent off actually i got to make a correction here is a 6-tube radio. I didn't see that one hiding back there. So it's probably got an RF amp for the, because it doesn't have an... So, yeah, it's a 6-tube radio. As governor, Newsom will stand with the students to put a stop to gun violence. Gavin Newsom, courage for a change. Okay, back to the Gavin Newsom elect me because I will base my legislative policy on what high school teenagers want. Uh, David Hogathon radio. So what you see here is absolutely the wrong way to do things. And hey, when we're talking about Gavin Newsom, we might as well do everything the wrong way. Um, communi communism and socialism for all radio. Actually, this is not some one tube germ. Okay, I'll shut up now. Um, yeah, what I did here is quite possibly the most wrong way to do anything, but... It didn't cost anything, and it's all bodged, and it's probably not legal in many countries. So what I've done is I put a 0.1 microfarad 250 volt in series with the grid coupling cap to the output tube. I put a 0.1 250 volt in series with the uh, volume control coupling that was causing the tube to cut off when I turned the volume all the way up. I put a Nichicon, that is an 820 microfarad, trust me, it's an 820 microfarad, 250 volt. I just paralleled it with the open one here, which is another no-no. But I did for my, for my uh, across the line cap, I did use a line rated safety cap. See all those nice safety certifications there? So at least that's safe. Um, we have stayed with the cracked power cord and we have not used any heat shrink so we have plenty of high voltage open lines hanging all over the place so this is absolutely the most wrong way to do things but I bet it will work good so high schoolers of the year 2030 students will also be able to better connect with other Californians who speak the vast majority of languages found on this planet. Knowing a second language will be critical to our students' success. That is State Superintendent Tom Torlickson. He wouldn't put a price uh, on the second Tom Torlickson! Except to say it's expensive to triple the number of graduates speaking a second language by the year 2030. 
in LA, Craig Fichtner, KNX 1070. He be Torlick Satan. Agenda 2030. Mike and Chris Tesla's Model 3 has one consumer. Anyway, um, sounds good now. We have on this capacitor, we have 113 volts, so I would say the rectifier tube is pretty toasted, pretty weak. Um, now I can crank this wide open and it doesn't torlixate. So, works really good now. Like I said, this is not the right way to fix this thing. Uh, but I think Tom Torlickson would approve. Sponkin serves on LA's Community College Board, where he's fought corruption and increased education investments. He'll fix the BOE. Paid for by Swanken for Board of Equalization 2018. Want auto insurance with great savings? And peace of mind? You know, is it just me or has anyone else noticed that the more money we pumped into these schools and these kids, the dumber they get? Take away all the trades and just educate them to be cubicle monkeys with a worthless degree. I swear, the more money we pump into these schools, the dumber these kids get. And Chris Seedens, more now on our breaking news from New York. A grand jury indicting Harvey Weinstein on charges of first degree and third degree rape. First degree. <laughs> Puppet on a string for Gavin Newsom. Supposed to start possibly in the Bronx last. We dive deep into a self-serving Sacramento politician whose record reads more like a rap sheet. That politician, Scott Ball. Most of us don't. And now it happened on the northbound. If you look real close at this, check out the pattern. I don't know if the camera will pick it up. Going to land. Uh, lanes block both sides. You've got uh, about well half mi a mile and a half and growing for a backup on both sides of Pacific Coast Highway. So I would give this. That's a pretty cool a pattern there. That's so, Tom Torlakson approved. Attorney General Javier Becerra takes tens of thousands in contributions from oil companies, insurance companies, and the tobacco industry. His Democrat opponent, Dave Jones, does not. The appointed Attorney General Javier Becerra supports the death penalty. Dave Jones will work to abolish capital punishment. The appointed Attorney General Javier Becerra has failed to collect guns from thousands who are under court order to surrender them. Dave Jones will stand up to the NRA and fight for gun safety. No wonder the San Jose Mercury News calls Javier Becerra a huge disappointment. And that's why Dave Jones is endorsed by the National Organization for Women, the Consumer Federation of California, and the California Federation of Teachers. Dave Jones for Attorney General, the clear choice for Democrats. This state is going down the toilet. Okay, that's it. No more radio videos until after these stupid political ads are gone. I can't handle it.